So let's now leave the for each um, function. I think we, we have a basic understanding what it's doing. Um, let's now go back to something that is actually um, providing us some, some results. So I will just uh, take my variable back here and now we can also display those things again. And let's now look at one last thing that is basically the um, your all-purpose uh, army knife uh, version of um, of a query. So basically, if if the querying by name, by type, by class, by all the other things that you can find um, on the query here, like I don't know, active or focused or whatever. Um, if that is still not enough for you, there is still another way to query by basically everything, every property that the elements have on them. And this is the, the where query. And the way how the way this works is again with a um, with a lambda function where you have to where you have to let me just copy this for a second where you put a function in here, just that this time this function um, kind of works a little bit different. Just get rid of this error because then it looks up again, we are just distracted. Now let's have a look at what is happening here. Now before in the for each, the logic was you are iterating over the elements and doing something for each element. The way this works with the where um, method is that you are also iterating over the elements and then you are only including those elements into your result set that pass this um, this uh, comparison or this this boolean um, this boolean expression. So basically, if whatever you type here results in a true, then this element will get into your results. If whatever you typed here results in false, it will not go into your results. So um, with with this code that I wrote here, what, what could we reach? We could basically say um, we are getting all the elements with this class name. And now we only want those that are labels. Uh, I just have to think if this actually makes sense. Probably it doesn't really make sense because um, the elements that we get are just the square elements and they are not labels. So that means that our result set should basically be empty. Let's see if that's true. Yes, I just pressed the play button. You cannot see this. You have to believe me that we are in the play button and we don't get any any results. Why is that? Because we were already filtering for um, for only the elements with the class name. Those are those three visual elements here. Um, and they are not labels. And when we then filter for labels as well, then we just get an empty result set. So this was just to, to show you the syntax. This was not there to provide any meaningful results. Now let's look at a different example where we actually um, where we actually make some meaningful use of the where uh, of the where method. And for example, let's say that um, one thing we didn't check uh, was those numbers so far let's say we only want some we only want an element that has for example let's say the three here now we could not check for that sort of thing before right we could check for types names of elements and so on we could not not check for a specific uh, specific property on an element like what is the text on this label here but with the where clause you can do that without any problems just like that. Now we know that we're looking for a label that makes it a little bit easier because then we can access the text property on um, on your element. If you would just search for visual elements, you would have to cast this and stuff like that. We, we don't want to do that. That's why um, I am querying for a label here. And then the only thing that I'm doing is I'm checking is the text property equal to the string um, three. And let's see what that gives us. And sure enough, um, we actually get this label with the element three. 
And again here, um, the sky is your limit when even when you have a really complicated thing with the where clause, you can basically do everything, right? You can um, query by specific colors, by specific sizes, by specific, um, I don't know, special, um, special custom properties that you gave your elements. All of this is possible. So basically, um, when the only thing that uh, that it's uh, that is kind of the downside of the where clause is that it's probably a little bit more code to write because you always have to use a lambda function here. So I would not use it if I can um, get along with the other queries. But um, for more complicated queries, you should be able to do almost everything with the where method. So I think we really covered quite a lot of um, ground here. Uh, one little thing that you might that you might have already noticed because we were actually already using this um, is that obviously again here you can also chain um, those selectors however you want. So you can for example say now here with this query I will get all the elements. Then I can say. I'm just putting this on, the, on a new line uh, so that it doesn't um, interfere with the with the overlays. Now I can say um, from all those elements, I just want those with the specific class name. And now on this, again, I can make another query, for example, with a where clause. And this would mean I, I got all my three squares and now I just want the second square. And this will be our last example, I promise. And you can see it works. Uh, we chained our selectors and ended up with this um, with this second square just as we wanted. Okay, so how is that for an introduction uh, into finding elements in UI Toolkit? Now I know that this was uh, quite uh, in depth and um, quite a lot of code, but I think now you should have the tools to do a lot of stuff in your code and be able to at least find the elements. Um, now, another thing is what you do with those elements, uh, but it's a good first step to be able to at least find every element that you want in a structured and in a way that you actually understand. Now, there's a lot more to be said, how those selectors actually actually work, um, what is the order of them, stuff like that. But I think for a, a quite large introduction, this is um, this is it for now. And let's let's now move to other topics.